engineer from RNSIT, Bengaluru. Now I am going to give a presentation of a project that we did in final year of engineering. The project is real-time conversion of sign language into audio and texture form to assist hearing and speech impaired people. The project team was comprised by Pavitra R, Stuti Bhatt and myself. We were guided in this project by Sudhir Rao who is a ASIC and FPGA design engineer at World Self Education and is also a research associate at IASC, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. This project is an IEEE EPICS project and was funded by the IEEE EPICS, wherein EPICS stands for Engineering Projects into Community Service. This project is being guided by World Self Education, Bengaluru. Well, to start off, let us take a look at what sign language is. Sign language is a means of communication using which hearing and speech impaired people express themselves to others. Sign language involves simultaneous use of facial expressions, orientation and movement of hand, finger spellings, body language, head movements and eye gazes. Some of the predominantly used types of sign languages in today's world are American Sign Language, French Sign Language, British Sign Language and Indian Sign Language. Now, let us consider a situation in which a hearing and speech impaired person wants to express himself using sign language and the person on the other side is not in a position to comprehend sign language. For example, let me just say Well, this gesture stands for, how are you? Now that I have spoken it, you know what it stands for. But if you were a person who is not in a position to understand and comprehend sign language, you wouldn't know what I gestured. That is where our system will come into picture. Therefore, we are addressing this problem by building a system that converts sign language into audio and textual form so that hearing and speech impaired people will be able to express themselves to those who do not understand sign language. Well, that's the objective of this project to bridge the communication gap that exists between the disabled people and normal people. And we also want to have an efficient, economical and effective device that does this. The motivation for us to do this project is that we believe that building of such a device will help in integrating hearing and speech impaired people more easily into mainstream society. We also believe that such a device will open up new job opportunities for the disabled people which were hitherto non-existent. We also think that this will make the hearing and speech impaired people more independent and it will make them not depend on human sign language converters for expressing themselves. Such a gadget can find a wide range of applications. It can find applications in many places like hospitals wherein a hearing and speech impaired person can use the device to describe his illness more accurately to the doctor. It can be used in a police station wherein a witness of a crime scene can explain the crime scene and the act of crime more clearly to a police officer. It can be installed in public places like parks, museums, government offices. It can also be installed in places like classrooms and make hearing and speech impaired students learn and express things more easily. One of the existing methodology for converting sign language into audio and textual form is instrumented gloves. This instrumented gloves consists of multiple sensors wherein we have a sensor placed on every finger and each of these sensors are connected to a controlling chip on both the hands. Now this instrumented gloves has got its own disadvantages. It might be effective but it has got its own disadvantages. For example, the sensors and the controlling chip on both the hands add to the cost of the device. Hence, it makes the inter instrumented gloves as seen in this picture a costly gadget. Moreover, the device becomes bulky 
So it might not be an efficient device in an ergonomical point of view. And the algorithms which can be used for segmentation, which is an integral part of sign language conversion into audio and textual form, are block based picture information ratio, improved Kalman filter, skin color segmentation. These algorithms are efficient in performing segmentation, but then they are complex. They take up good amount of processing time and they require good amount of processing power. They also require high hardware specification for them to be executed at a short interval of time. Therefore, we thought that there is a need for an alternative. So, we came up with a novel methodology and algorithm for performing sign language conversion into audio and textual form so as to overcome the disadvantages that I just mentioned.